Hi guys, how are you all? Um, I realised that I haven't uploaded a book review for, I think, about a couple of months now. And basically I wanted to explain myself. Um, and I also wanted to show you all the books. And when I mean all the books, I mean all the books on my to-be-read pile that usually sits by my bed over there. So, this is probably going to be quite a long video. Because on my TBR pile there are... 15 books so there you go so yeah this is probably going to be quite a long video so you might want to i don't know get a cup of tea or coffee or something so the reason i haven't been uploading book reviews on youtube or toastpop.com is simply because i am in probably the biggest reading sub i've ever been in in my whole entire life i mean i haven't sat down and completed a book for a while the last one I did sit down and complete was To This Day by Shane Quicksand. Quicksand? I think I'm saying that right. Um, and this is the reason for my reading slot, because this is just absolutely beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful books I own. And, I mean, the poem is so powerful and magical, and the artwork is just absolutely ridiculously gorgeous. I mean, this is this book is the reason for my reading slump, you know. It's so beautiful that I haven't been able to sit down and complete anything else since reading this. Um, that's, that's not to say it's a bad thing. Uh, not to say it's bad for this book, because this book is absolutely gorgeous, and you should all go and read it. I received it for a review from Walker, and I've done a review on it, um, so I'll leave the link to that video in the description. But it's absolutely gorgeous, this book. And this is, like I said, this is the reason for my reading slump. Um, so yeah, I wanted to apologise for that. Um, and now I'm going to show you all of the books on my TBR and give you a little bit of background of all of them. Um, so the first one on my TBR, and most of these I've started or got halfway through or a little bit through. So I'll talk about that as well. So the first one you will have seen recently, and it's Bells Are by Meg, Wallet Meg Wallitzer. And it's the most amazing cover in the world. You see in the middle with the guys in that winter wonderland and the book. I think that's amazing. And just the detail on the outside is just gorgeous. Now I don't know which way this is so that you can see it. But look at the text as well. It's just one of the most beautiful books I own. But yeah, I, as you could tell, I was reading this. I got to chapter 8, page 89, which isn't bad. And I was really enjoying it. It's about this girl who goes to this boarding school after her dad dies. I think her dad dies. Um, and she's picked for this special topics in English class um, against her will. She doesn't know why she's been picked. But her teacher gives her like a journal. And every time she writes in the journal, she goes to this magical world called Belzar. And so do all her other friends. And they all start talking about what happened to the people in their lives and why they're at the school called The Wooden Barn. So yes, I was really enjoying this. I still am. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take me to read, but it's not very long and the chapters are really short. So hopefully this won't take me too long to read. I just haven't really been reading it very much. <coughs> Next book on my TBR um, is the only classic that I have loved and reread four or five times, and it is Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. I don't need to say too much about this. Um, I talked about this book before as well. This is my copy that I've had since primary school. It's still in good condition because I look after my books. Um, and yeah, I don't really need to say too much more about this, but I put it on my TBR to help me out of my slump because I heard that rereading one of your favourite books or reading a classic, a short classic, can pull you out of a slump. But I haven't got around to it yet. So that's the uh, that's the next one. The third one on my TBR list, I was also reading and really enjoying and got about halfway through. Uh, and that is Ophelia and the Marvelous Boy by Karen Foxley. And this is absolutely gorgeous as well. The text is amazing and so is the picture of the boy and girl. And the back is lovely. And the spine is awesome. The little keyhole there. Yeah, this is also a gorgeous book, and so is the writing. The writing is gorgeous as well. 
Uh, I got to page, uh, chapter 7, page 88. So just one page away from where I am on Belza. Um, yeah, and I am really enjoying this. It's absolutely beautifully written. Um, but for some reason, I got halfway through and just put it down. I didn't want to carry on at that moment in time. And I don't know why. Yes. Next one. I haven't made much progress with this. I'm kind of disappointed in myself. Um, is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Which is beautiful as well. Um, there's my bookmark. Didn't get very far at all. Chapter 20, page 54. Um, I was enjoying this, but at the time I really wanted to change because it wasn't very quick, quick paced. Um, that's the only excuse I have. Not much of one, I know. Next book that I did start a while ago is Take Back the Skies by Lucy Saxon, which is also a beautiful cover. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, I got to page 58, chapter 5. Again, I was enjoying it. It wasn't very fast paced, so I put it down. I never really got back to it. Yet. I will. I'll get back to all these books, and I'll probably complete all of them soon. But for some reason, this just hasn't been my bag recently. The next book I have is Panic by Lauren Oliver, which I bought a while ago. If you've watched my channel, you'll know how long ago I bought this. Um, and I was enjoying this. It was a bit weird, a bit different, which I like. It's page 50. Uh, yeah, and I was enjoying it. But for some reason, I put it down and haven't got back to it yet. So, that's that one. Okay, we're actually getting through these pretty quickly. It's like seven minutes in now. Uh, next one is The Watcher in the Shadows by Carlos Ruiz Zafon, which has an amazing cover as well. Look at the typography. It's just one of the most beautiful books I have ever seen, really. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, and I was reading this. I was enjoying it. It was different. It was a bit strange. It's a bit out of my comfort zone. Uh, page 72. I'm not sure what chapter it is. Chapter 5, A Castle in the Mist. Page 72. So yeah, I was enjoying this. Um, but for some reason, this has been put down as well. But yeah, like I said, I will get back to all these books. So don't worry about it. They're not going to be forgotten about. Next book is, oh, next book is uh, Trial by Fire by Josephine Angelini. I got to page 21, chapter 2, and that's all I've read. Um, I do like this cover, though. I think it's beautiful, and I don't know if you can see, but it's shiny, and it just looks really nice. And yeah, I was reading this about a witch... But this girl goes to an alternative reality, and that's really all I know. Sorry, Josephine. But I've heard it's really good. Um, I just haven't got around to finish it. Next one on my list. You will have seen this recently too. This is Circus of the Unseen by Joanne Owen. Uh, this is also a very short book. 195 pages. Um... I literally got to page 7, chapter 1, so not far at all, but this book is also gorgeous. There's a theme going on here, they're all gorgeous. But yes, I was kind of enjoying this, I mean the epilogue, no, the prologue even, was actually really interesting. Um, but yeah, haven't got around to finishing this one either. <coughs> like I said, this is a long video. Next book I have is actually a review book, which it actually came out in November, no, October 29th, I believe. So I should have finished this by now and done a review, but I haven't. Uh, this is Nick and Tessa's Super Cyborg Gadget Glove by Science Bob, Bob Flugfeld and Steve Hockensmith. Uh, sent to me by Quirk. Whoops. If you watch my channel, you will have known that you will know that I love this series. I think it's beautiful. This beautiful. I think it's really good. This is the fourth book in the series. Um, I have two of them. I haven't read the first one. But yeah, they're really good. They're about two teenage 
uh, about a brother and sister, and they're like super spies, kind of, and they try and take on these different cases and mysteries. It's just a really good series. This is the thickest book of them so far. But yeah, like I said, I should have read it, um, and I haven't. And yeah, so this one is one that hasn't been started yet. Next book is The Girl in 6E by A.R. Tori. Uh, I also was reading this. I got to page 54, chapter 13. There's my bookmark. And this was interesting. I think it was just a bit too much. It's quite intense. Like, it's very sexual. Like, really sexual. I would read you something, but I think this video would be taken down by YouTube if I did. It is that sexual. Um, but it is a good book. And I was enjoying it. Really enjoying it, actually. Um, so I am hoping to get back to this one. Because Do Not Disturb is the sequel, which comes out really soon. I think January it comes out, or February. So yeah, that's The Girl in 6E by A.R. Tori. The next book, I'm a little bit ashamed about this one, um, is My True Love Gave to Me, edited by Stephanie Perkins. Don't kill me, Ryan, don't kill me, Erin, but I've literally read... The first story, which is by Rainbow Rowell, and it's called Midnight, or Midnights. Uh, yeah. And I got two pages into the second story, The Lady and the Fox, by Kelly Link. There's the actual story. And there's my bookmark, or my book thing on the second page. Yeah, but I really enjoyed the first story. Um, this is supposed to be mine, Erin, and Ryan's. December buddy read um, but as you can tell I haven't really got that far in and I'm kind of ashamed of that I don't know how much I'm going to read in December but like I said my slump is the worst it has ever been never gone this long without sitting down and finishing a book so that is the reason um, but this one isn't too bad because it's like 12 short stories um, we kind of read what, what we're going to read and then review the ones we have read so like if I've only read 2 or 3 by the time we all put our reviews up, then I'll just review those two or three. So it's not too bad. I mean, yeah, but I am a little bit ashamed because I haven't really done anything with this book. The next book is uh, Cern Zoo by the Mnemonymous 5. No, it's Mnemonymous 9. Um, and this is... It says, the names of the authors who created the short fiction within this book are shown below, but not in the same order as the titles in the contents list. So, like, this group of people that write for these collections of books, um, they like, you know, they like to be mysterious and stuff. So, like, there's the titles of the stories, but it doesn't say who they're by. And then there's the list of authors on the back, but it doesn't say which stories they wrote. So, yeah. So that's a little bit strange, but um, I got up to page 33. This is my signed Kendare Blake bookmark, which I also sent one to Erin from Wrath's Queen because I was sent two. So I did a competition and she won the second one. But yeah, The Lion's Den is the fifth story. So, and yeah, this short fiction all centered around animals. And I was really enjoying this, actually. Some of the stories are like 10 pages, some are 25 pages, some are 3 pages. But yeah, I was enjoying this, and I hope to get back to this. This is one, obviously, they're short stories, so you can just read them whenever you want. So I'm not really feeling under any pressure to finish this. The penultimate book um, is one that I started, I bought and started so long ago. Literally, it feels like years ago, but it's only at the beginning of the year. Um, and that is Messenger of Fear by Michael Grant with the amazing black paper this is one of the most beautiful books in the world but yeah um, I literally got to chapter 10 page 121 and I was really enjoying this this is a brilliant story and I don't know why maybe I picked something else up and wanted to read that more 
but that's, you know, I haven't gotten any further, and that's just under halfway. Um, I know, I think Erin, I think Erin and Ryan have both read this. I think I, I think Ryan read it and really loved it, and I think Erin has read it. Um, yeah, so really there's no excuse for me not to have finished this, and I really do want to go back to it and finish it sometime, which I will do. Um, like I said, it's one of the most beautiful, beautiful books I've ever seen and I really do want to get back to reading it and finally the last book on my huge TBR um, is one that everybody was very excited for and everybody bought when it came out and it's The Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare this is also a gorgeous book beautiful design um, this one, I got to chapter 9, page 110, and I don't know why I stopped reading this. I mean, usually I don't like to compare books to other books, like when people say, oh, that book's too much like Harry Potter, that book's too much like Lord of the Rings, that book's too much like Percy Jackson, whatever. I don't like it when people do that, and I don't do that myself, but this is the first book I've read where I've been reading it and thought, okay, this is, this is basically Harry Potter in disguise which isn't a bad thing it's a really good book and it was i was getting really into it and the magic system is really interesting and the magisterium itself is really interesting and the characters are all very interesting i mean the girl in it i don't know her name but she's quite annoying but yeah callum cool and there's the i don't know what the girl's name is and the end papers look at the end papers this book is beautiful yeah, but like I said, I just, I don't know why, but I just haven't got round to finishing it or carrying on with it. And I'm really um, annoyed with myself, actually, uh, because I know the second book comes out uh, like March or April next year. So I really do want to finish it at some point so I can buy the second book when it comes out. So, yeah, that is that one. So there you go, I told you why I haven't uploaded reviews for a while and which book put me in my slump and shown you every single book on my to-be-read pile. I mean, I say every single book, my bookshelves are packed full of books. Let me just show you. You've seen them before. Oh, you can't see them, there you go. There are, that's just some of my bookshelves. In fact, that's most of it, to be honest. But yeah, so you can see, like, I have so many books I haven't read. Um, yeah. So, I mean, that's what I came on here to do, to apologise because of my lack of reviews. And that's due to, that's due to the book To This Day by Shane Clitzan. Um And that's it. I mean, I recently uploaded, you would have seen, maybe yesterday, uh... Sunday, yeah, Sunday, yesterday, I uploaded a haul which had like seven books in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes, it has seven books in it. And there are a couple on there that I really, 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 really want to read. So I might have a pop at those. Um, there's the Russell Brand one. Let me go and get it. Yes, that is my Iron Man t-shirt. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. This is the one I was on about. You saw this yesterday. It's Russell Brand's Trickster Tales, the Pied Piper of Hamelin. And it is absolutely gorgeous. And I think I might have a pop at this because the text is big and there are gorgeous illustrations. So I don't think it would take me that long to read. So I might have a pop at this. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. Um, so this, in fact, is probably the next one I'll read. I'll probably sit down and read this tonight. And I think because it's so short, I might actually finish it tonight. I mean... Okay, I don't actually think there are any page numbers. No, there aren't. But it's not long. It's maybe 120 pages, maybe. But yeah, so I'll probably sit down and do this tonight. And maybe you'll have a review of this tonight or tomorrow. Um, yeah. So for now, that is it. Um... Let me know if there are books on that list that you have read and you recommend me to read. Um, you know, just to help me push 
uh, just to give me a push to um, convince me to read them and finish them. And yes, uh, sorry this video is so long, but I had a lot to talk about. And yes, you like I said, you might see a review of the Russell Brand book sooner rather than later. So, yeah, if you like this video, please like. Um, like I said, I will leave... I will leave a link to my review of To This Day um, in the description so you can go check it out. If you haven't, please subscribe. And I will see you again soon before Christmas. Do not worry, it will be before Christmas. Because I have some exciting news in a couple of days, possibly, maybe a week or so. Yeah, so watch out for that and I will see you again soon. Bye!